set us free. When the Son of God sets us free, we will be, we will be free indeed. Bring into the presence of Jesus. Are you a person? Maybe even a social drinker. Moderation. You never lose control. It's understandable for you to feel okay with it. But how much more blessed if you can get rid of something that is not an essential in your life. That is a potential destruction. Or are you a person who is struggling deeper in alcohol? You need it and you cannot function without it. The not. How many opportunities you have lost. How many graces that were supposed to come into your family was lost. Because you were struggling with this addiction of alcohol. You know family members who just cannot come out of their addiction. Bring it all here. We cannot let this destroy our families. We cannot let Satan use this as, an, as a weapon to destroy our lives and our families. We come to Jesus to be set free of even the desire or even the taste of alcohol. Just in our heart to have that little bit of a desire telling Jesus, even if you are only a social drinker. Tell Jesus, Lord, it is not an essential in my life. I don't want to let hanging around my life something that can be a potential destruction for me or my family. So I pray today, Jesus, give me the courage, give me the strength, give me the wisdom to pray for deliverance from any kind of addiction to alcohol or even the desire for it. Jesus, I come to your cross. Anyone who is at the foot of the cross, oh Jesus, will find deliverance from anything that they are going through. For your precious blood flows from that cross and delivers us. So here I come to you, oh Jesus. I come to the foot of your cross and I believe that the power of the cross will deliver me from this affliction that I'm going through, this addiction that I'm going through, this knot that I'm going through. Oh mother, you pray for me. You were there at the foot of the cross. You be here at the foot of the cross with me. Present the ribbon of my life to Jesus as you untie the knot of alcoholism. Deliver me. Set me free. I want that peace. I pray from the cross. Let me find my freedom. There's a place where mercy waits and never dies. There's a place where streams of grace flow deep and wide. Where all the love I've ever found comes like a flood, comes flowing down. At the cross, at the cross, I surrender my life. I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of you. Where your love ran red and my sin washed white, I owe all to you. I owe all to you. 
at the cross of Jesus. Here at the foot of the cross, you place that addiction, that knot of alcoholism, that knot of even the taste of it. How blessed if we can be able to be rid of this forever so that our minds will always be at peace. Our families will have time with us instead of us being intoxicated Instead of our minds being so less responsive to the words of God and His will. So pray at this moment at the cross, O oh Jesus. I surrender this that I'm going through, that I might be free, that I might be set free forever of it. At the cross, I pray. At the cross, at the cross, I surrender my life. I'm in awe of you, I'm in awe of you, where your love ran red and my sin washed white, I owe to you, I owe to you. At the cross. At the cross, at the cross, I surrender my life. I owe all to you, I'm in awe of you, where your love ran red, and my sin washed white, I owe all to you, I owe all to you, Jesus. Offer all families that are bearing the brunt of alcoholism. One member of the family that is undergoing that knot of alcoholism, it has put the whole family under a knot. The family cannot move on. The family has no peace. There are fights, there's violence in the house. There are tears just being shed out of helplessness, not knowing how to find a solution for what is happening. So much of prayers being offered that your loved one will be delivered from alcoholism. But it's always the same. He, she is so deep into it now. They are never in their senses. They make so many promises that they will stop. But they are just never able to stop. The company they keep, the people they meet. It's always a temptation for them here at the cross. You ask for God's grace and mercy. That this sin might be taken away. That sin might be released from their life. That they might be delivered from that sinful situation as we pray at this moment. At the cross, at the cross, I surrender my life. I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of you. Where your love ran red and my sin washed white, I owe all to you. I owe all At to the you. cross, you offer your family. At the cross, at the cross, I surrender my life. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. Where your Once again, offer your families and the impact of alcoholism. Surrender my family, Lord. I offer them. I touching many families and blessing them as the families are praying for deliverance from the afflictions of alcoholism from members in your family the Lord is touching and answering your prayers 
There is a family that's praying for a very young son, less than 18 years old, but is a hardcore alcoholic. And you're feeling terribly helpless seeing your son destroy his life. The Lord is blessing that family with an answer to prayers as you're praying together. From the power of the cross, your son will be delivered. There's a family where there is a bar in your house. I see the whole bar filled with bottles of alcohol and that family has little children in the house. The Lord tells you, remember the impact you are making and the influence you are having over, you're giving over your children. Having that in your home, one day the evil one will destroy whatever peace is there in your family if you do not get rid of it. A family that has a full-fledged bar, a very, it's a secluded space itself, a full-fledged bar is what I'm seeing. And there are little children in the house and you don't feel guilty at all that that is sitting over there. The Lord is reminding you, warning you of the dangers and the impact it is going to have on those children in the future. There's a person who is a social drinker. You're not a regular drinker, social drinker. But you throw up whenever you have alcohol. The Lord is warning you to stop immediately. You throw up every time you have alcohol, you feel nauseated or you throw up. The Lord is telling you to stop immediately. A mother and father in the house together. Every evening, you'll sit together and have your drinks. Very little quantity, but you sit together and have your drinks. The Lord is warning you of what lies ahead. Pray and offer. Dear friends, offer up everything that's connected to alcohol within your family. You pray and offer. If there's anything that can be a potential destruction for our family, if it was anything else, if it was a potential fire hazard for your family, you would see that that fire hazard is not there in your family. Then anything that can be a potential destruction for your family. Tell Jesus, give me the courage and the grace from the cross to be able to get rid of this, to have the courage to be able to say no to it. We pray once again at the cross, at the cross. At the cross, at the cross, I surrender my life. I'm in no I'm in awe of you, where your love ran red and my sin washed white. I owe to you, I owe to you. At the cross, at the cross, at the cross, I surrender my dreams. I am no Place your whole family at the foot of the cross. And from this cross, every intention of your family may be blessed. May it be touched. Let his blood drench your family at the foot of the cross. Give your family freedom. For when the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed.
someone who has been praying during these days for the kind of language that comes out of your mouth the words that come out and you feel so helpless about it but it's it's a great shame for you the kind of language that spontaneously comes from your mouth the blessed mother is carrying that knot to jesus untying it and blessing you someone's praying for a young girl who's spine has a problem very young girl has a spinal problem the lord is touching and blessing that prayer lily the lord is touching and blessing your prayer do not be afraid josephine the lord's grace upon your hands to touch to heal and to bless others consecrate your hands josephine to jesus and the lord will use someone who's been having a heaviness or a stiffness around your chest for the past 2 days the lord is releasing you a childless couple who have been praying daily this during the mornings for the gift of a child this is not just this one week but you've been doing it for the past month or so a childless couple the lord is blessing you with the gift of a child offer your heart and every prayer that is dear to your family as we ask the mother and doer of knots to carry all these knots to Jesus